Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to create checkbox. First, we go to Developer tab, then we click on Insert. Okay, then we look for checkbox. Okay, then we insert. If let's say we want to design this checkbox according to our preferences, we click on Properties. Okay, if let's say we want to change the wordings here, we look for Caption instead of Name. Because this name will be used for coding purpose. Okay, then we change under caption. Okay, change to what we want. A, B, C. Okay, if let's say we want to change the color, will be here. Okay, if let's say we want to change the font or the font size, will be here. Okay, to check the box, we have to first unclick the design mode. Okay. So we can check here. If let's say we want to provide convenience to users, meaning to say if let's say user check a particular box, all other boxes will be checked as well. For example, for this, if let's say the user click all the above, then all this will be checked as well. In order to do that, first we make sure that the design mode is clicked. Okay, then we select. The particular checkbox. Okay, then we go to properties. Then we check the name. So this one will be checkbox one. Then checkbox two, three, four. Okay. So means that when checkbox one is clicked, two, three, four should be checked as well. Okay. To do that, we double click on checkbox one. Okay. Then we type if Sheet 4. Okay, why we type Sheet 4 is because all the check boxes is on Sheet 4. Okay, Sheet 4 dot chat box 1 dot value. Okay, for this dot value, we have to check whether the box is the particular box is checked or not. Okay, if checked, that will be true. If not check, that will be false. Okay, then with okay, this is a syntax worksheet for okay. Then I will use follow to check all others. Okay, since we have four check boxes there, then I will write from one to four. Okay. This also the syntax O L E object. Okay. Syntax is very important. Check box. Okay, make sure the C and B are capital letters. Okay. And what I okay. I will use random variable i to represent 1, 2, 3. So means that when i equal to 1, the checkbox 1 will be checked. And when i equal to 2, the checkbox 2 will be checked. And so on. Object. The value that equal to true. Okay. First one done. Then we go to the next one okay and so on until the fourth and with okay we start with if so we end with with okay with we start with if then we must end with if okay then we try and see okay when i check this one okay nothing happened check and check check and check okay if let's say i check this one all others will be checked Besides that, if let's say we want to uncheck all these checkboxes at the same time rather than uncheck them one by one, actually we can create a command button to help us to do that. To do that, we click on design mode, then double click on the command button. Okay, then actually the syntax is similar to the previous one. The difference is only from true to false because true is to check all, false will be to uncheck them. Okay, then we copy from with 
to end with copy then we paste here then true to false okay then we try and see okay and click okay check all and check all check all and check all okay thanks for watching hope you like this see you